By the end of this video, you will understand when you would want to use Mokito Verify to increase your unit test coverage, the benefits to using Mokito Verify, and how you would go about writing the unit tests themselves. So if we take a look at the class that we'll be testing, it's called Trained Barriers. And the Trained Barriers class is essentially acting as the entry to a train station. And it has just a single method called passenger entry that it takes in the passenger ID. So this would be like swiping your card to enter a train station. There are two services or cooperators to this class. One is called passenger repository and the other is called the email service. So when this passenger entry method is called, the method will first call the register passenger on train method from the repository. And if we go to the passenger repository, we can see that all this call would do is update a database to include the passenger ID onto that train. And then the second method call would be a notify passenger method call for the email service and that would send, essentially send an email confirmation to that passenger to say that they've entered this train station or enter this train. So the current challenge that we face is from this passenger entry method, which is known as a managing method or a manager. So it doesn't actually do any work other than calling the two methods below. The second challenge is also that the passenger entry method doesn't actually return anything. Uh, so it returns void. So there's no outcome to calling this method which we can actually assert upon. So what we're trying to achieve with our tests is to actually test the indirect outputs of the method. And those indirect outputs are these two method calls that are made to the individual services. So I'm going to test this passenger entry method within the train barriers test class that I've created within the test Java directory. The test method will utilize one of the properties of a mocked class that enables us to assert upon the method calls that it makes. Uh, so we can therefore use our mocked classes and test upon the method calls that have been used from it. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the mocked version of our passenger repository and the email service. And then I'm going to pass that into a real version of our train barriers class instance. So we've created our mocked version of the passenger repository class and then the same for the email service and then we've created a train barriers instance using both of those mocked classes using the constructor. What I can then do is call the passenger entry method on the train barriers instance passing in just a random number for the passenger. So now that we've called this passenger entry method, passing in the value of three, which is the passenger ID, we can expect our passenger entry method to call the register passenger on train method and the notify passenger method, passing in that same passenger ID each time. So this is where we would use the Mokito verify assertion, which is where we can test upon our mot classes to ensure that those exact same method calls have been made. So firstly, I will use the verify method. And with the verify method, we would first pass in the mocked class that we will be testing. So the first one is the passenger repository mock. And then we would be specifying the exact method call that we would like to verify. So we would expect it to call the register passenger on train method passing in that exact same passenger ID. And then the same would go for the email service mock, where we expect it to call the notify passenger, passing in that exact same passenger ID. We can see that this test has passed. If I were to change one of these parameters, say to the number two, we would expect that test to now fail because it's actually calling the passenger ID value of three. In this way, if we were to change the, the passenger entry method, perhaps to no longer call that email service, this test would also fail once more. 
So wanted but not invoked, email service, notify passenger three. And that's because it's no longer within that method. So that summarizes this video on Marquito Verify, when you would want to use it and also how you can use it. Uh, I personally found Marquito Verify quite difficult to get my head around as to understanding when I, I would want to use it. But this video by no means tests Marquito Verify to the full extent of what it can achieve. There are many other types of variables and uh, method calls that we can make with Makita Verify uh, for more complex testing and I will cover this in a future video.